An agreement over five years in the making finally taking a big step forward, but will solar power prove to be a money saver? One local school district certainly hopes so, as Tim Durkin reports. It is hoped that through this process, we will still be um, reducing our costs in the, in the long term. It's that line of thinking that got the State College Area School District's board to vote unanimously to opt into a contract for Center County's solar power purchase agreement. Out of the 10 or so organizations involved, they're the first to officially sign on. The district won't directly use solar power, but it will help cut costs. We will not be using solar power, but we will be purchasing solar power that will be added to the grid and then uh, we will be purchasing regular energy. And how much is the district poised to save by joining the agreement? Through the consultant, um, we believe that there are, uh, over the 15-year period, potential savings of in excess of $2 million. The purchase agreement has been a topic of debate for months now, with State College Council member Josh Portney claiming that based on data he's seen, it's possible the agreement wouldn't save the borough money compared to what they have now. Now, through our renewable energy credits, we're getting 100% of our energy from renewable energy sources at 6.5 cents in 2025. That represents a cost savings to the taxpayer and it achieves our climate goals. So it would be outrageous to opt for something even more expensive. The State College Borough has yet to make that final decision, but since the school district has, it can start looking to the future and hopefully reaping some benefits. For the school district itself, we are in the middle of a district-wide facility master plan also that calls for a review of our sustainability and our operations to find increased sustainability initiatives. So this will allow us to get to that step in the process. The panels are set to begin generation between October 2026 and June 2027. Reporting in State College, Tim Durkin, WTAJ News.